Hello everyone, it's Gary. It's gonna be a quick video showing you what's new in version 2.6 of my extension that I just released. Um, nothing major has changed, but uh, there are a lot of small additions to the market, additions and improvements. So let's start on the Community Market main page. Uh, I think nothing changed here, but if you scroll down a bit, you should be able to see two new buttons added in this column. Uh, now you have the ability to outbid uh, that would place a buy order just one cent above the current highest buy order or outbid by one percent and similarly it would uh, place a buy order that's one percent higher than the current one. So as you can see I have uh, some buy orders set on these knives and uh, someone outbid me placed a buy order that's higher by 50 cents than mine so let's do outbid by one percent and the new buy that was set your know, previous state was mine was 218 and now it is 220 so i think that's quite clear how this works if you scroll down some more you should be able to see uh, the amount that you're allowed to set the, uh, the total of the buyer does you can place and uh, if you have not reached this then the remaining amount that you can do so and if we move on to the history parts of the market then you can see that the prices started loading these are the starting at prices on the items and the name of the uh, names of the items are now links to their market pages and as you can see there are not only 10 history events but I think it's 50 for me I think I set it to 50 you can control this in uh, the options and under market it's the bottom one right now market history events to show and yes I have set it to 50 so these are the changes on the market main page I think if we go if we open a listing, let's go. It doesn't really matter. Let's do this uh, water elemental. Uh, something uh, pretty obvious that I've become a partner with Skin Baron. I've added a link to their site to the market pages, so that's one. And uh, there are two new buttons here. There's a quick place order which would set uh, the highest. No, sorry, the, the place highest order would set the highest order right now. So the request to buy, so the highest buy order is 440 right now. If I click place highest order, then the buy order was placed and it's just above the current one. So mine would be the higher if, if I did not cancel it. And similarly, you can uh, just quickly put in a number and you can leave the quantity and quick place buy order you don't have to you know click this open all the uh, this big pop-up with the, your address and everything you have to confirm you can just simply type in the number and the quantity if you want to change that but I don't want to buy this thing right now also you can see this instant buy button appearing which uh, I think is pretty clear but if I click this then I would purchase this item also without confirmation if you don't want this to show uh, you can just toggle this from the options and uh, yep, let's uh, move on yet some more market there are two options new options relating to the float values one of them is the always expand float technical data which would mean that if we refresh you can see that all the technical details are now visible automatically and normally you have to click show technical for this uh, but let's see the other one which uh, actually hides the float bar and only shows the float values yep that's the other option that was show float values only but let's keep it on the normal one float bar and uh, it doesn't really matter, I won't refresh right now. I added two new, actually four new 
sorting methods you can sort based on paint index but actually I should change it back to this one to make it more apparent what it does and so yeah if we do a sorting based on paint seed what well, the paints with paint seed yeah so paint seed 6 87 96 so it's ascending the order is ascending you can find uh, the exact paint index or paint seed whichever you want uh, quickly now also there is an option to set a default order if I set it to float lowest to highest then it would not show the cheapest first and then on but the one with the best float and it's gonna be sorted after the price after the all the float values are loaded so yep the sorting happened right after the last one loaded and now the best float to worst is the order but I think I'm gonna stick with cheap to expensive and uh, gonna turn this off okay I think uh, this is it for the market listing pages I believe if you go to if you go to the inventory then now I added support to the tradability and bookmark functions to Team Fortress 2 and Dota 2 so I can now similarly click the bookmark and notify and it would be added as a bookmark and would behave the same as if it was a CSGO item similarly to Dota 2 also you can uh, the name of the items are now links to the market pages which is no list all right no listings because it's not a marketable item but uh, this would work yep so this worked also I added uh, support to the new and existing features to non CSGO items now so you can see the original price instant but sell instant buy place highest uh, quick place buttons as well as the market other market links now I'm pretty sure I've missed something so let me cheat a bit right so let's find someone else's inventory because as you know if you start selecting items whatever you know this is the must listing menu but I thought why why not show the same table on other people's inventory just uh, without you know the option to actually sell the items because you can sell other people's items so if I was to click select like I just did well that's not a marketable item let's do CSGO because those are almost always marketable then I can now select the items which is you know great for example if you have someone you want to trade with and um, they have an offer for you then you can just select the items that they're offering or actually not an offer but some you want to select some items that you would want to take from the inventories and you can set your own prices so let's uh, say I disagree with the prices here and I think that this bayonet is 110 euros and uh, well, the prices are pretty accurate uh, usually on cheap and uh, popular items like, like this deagle but let's uh, say I want it to be 15 and now you can see the total and the after fees total so I think this is pretty cool if you want to you know calculate the items have a link to their market pages <clears throat> so yeah that's something new I've added some more you know spam patterns like giveaways and uh, team recruitment patterns and I think that's uh, that's about it for this update nothing major was added but I think a lot of a lot of people are going to like these new features who use the market especially uh, let me know if you have 
any more ideas that I should add relating to the market or anything actually and uh, yep I think um, in the next three days I will be doing something uh, something big not not this so small change kind of things but something something major so stay tuned I hope you like this do subscribe etc and uh, yeah so I always forget to say this but me releasing the update does not mean that it will be instantly available to all of you because you know the G Google and uh, Mozilla and and uh, Microsoft they review the code so it could take a couple of days before you actually see it you can install it so stay patient see you guys